Have you ever wondered about the intricate web of international politics and alliances and the role of Eritrea's president, Esayas Afwerki, in the conflicts of the Horn of Africa? Well, today we delve into this complex tapestry, starting from the Horn of Africa and extending to the Houthi rebels of Yemen. Esayas Afwerki, the president of Eritrea, has been a figure of controversy, accused of supporting various armed groups and conflicts in the region, including Somali pirates and the Tigray People's Liberation Front. But these allegations, according to Afwerki, are nothing more than fantasy or propaganda. Interestingly, the Houthi rebels, a Shia Islamist movement originating from Yemen's Sada governorate in the 1990s, have been at odds with the Yemeni government and its allies, such as Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, since 2004. They have also been accused of missile attacks on Israel and American targets in the region, as well as hijacking ships in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Now, the million-dollar question, is Esayas Afwerki supporting the Houthi rebels' actions? While there is no concrete evidence, there are allegations and suspicions that point toward potential links or interests. Consider this, Eritrea and Yemen have a history of territorial disputes over the Hanish Islands and the Zubair Islands in the Red Sea. Some sources claim that Eritrea maintains a military presence on some of these islands, potentially using them as a base to support the Houthis or other groups. Then there's the close relationship between Eritrea and Iran, the latter being widely believed to be the main sponsor of the Houthi rebels. Accusations have been made that Eritrea allows Iran to use its ports and airspace to smuggle weapons and fighters to the Houthis. In addition, it has been alleged that Eritrea provides training and intelligence to them and hosts Iranian military advisors and Hezbollah operatives on its soil. Finally, Eritrea's long-standing rivalry and hostility with Ethiopia, a major ally of the Yemeni government, might add another layer to the story. Eritrea could potentially see the Houthis as a way to counter Ethiopia's influence and pressure in the region and to destabilize its internal situation. In summary, while there is no definitive proof that Esias Afwerki is supporting the Houthi rebels, there are some indications and speculations that he may have connections or interests with them. However, it's important to note that he has rejected these claims and maintains that he is not involved in any foreign conflicts or interventions. In the world of international politics, things are rarely as they seem on the surface. The situation in the Horn of Africa and Yemen is a perfect example of this complexity, with its intricate web of alliances, rivalries and conflicts. As always, the truth remains elusive, lying somewhere in the shadows of speculation and conjecture.